Vroom! Hey, try and guess what I'm doing! Vroom, vroom! Am I driving a car? Or am I going asleep? Vroom, vroom! Right, I'm driving a car! You're watching Mount Per Tiny! Whoa, Mount Per Tiny! Dumb, paper and sheep, paper and sheep, sheep and paper, paper and sheep, paper and sheep, Bah, yeah, yeah. Baby is just a human farmer. Sheep is just a plain old sheep. Bah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Paper and sheep, paper and sheep, sheep and paper. Paper and sheep, paper and sheep. He sheep and paper. He sheep and paper. Hello, uh, hello. Dun dun dun. Uh oh, big shoe. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Okay, guys, if you can gather around, we can go ahead and get started reading the story right with you, Charles. Today is a very special day. My friends and I are all outside, and we're going to read a story. And so far, it's getting ready to just start, because Charles is going to be the one telling the story. He's the new narrator. That's right, sheep. Now, if you all can get comfortable, I'm comfortable. Nah, me too. Hey. We can get started with the story, and this story tells the legend of the big shoe. Ooh, the big shoe? The big shoe? But don't you wear shoes? That's right, Bricky. But this one tells the story about how the shoe grew five times bigger. <gasps> five times bigger? That's like five times humongous. Exactly, sheep. Twas the day before nightmare. <laughs> there was one man who needed good shoes to wear his feet were so achable. Oh, I'm tired of standing. I need to sit down, man. And then one day, he saw this shoe, and it was big. <gasps> he went to it, and he was like, wow, that's one big shoe. I wonder where the other mate to it is. Oh, well, as long as he can protect my feet, I really don't need it. But then something weird happened with that shoe. It just grew, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew, 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 and it wouldn't stop growing. The man didn't notice yet, but once he woke up and seen himself flying in the air, he was like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Did he jump off it? Not yet he did it. He was so confused, like, what to do? He was like, oh, boy, I better jump off. Ugh. Okay, now he jumped off. <laughs> he was okay. <sighs> but he was still confused on why that shoe grew. Whoa, this shoe is big. How on earth did it grow this big? The man was so confused on what he should rather do. Should he just return it back to its national habitat? Or should he continue putting it back on? But it was so big, he couldn't even put his feet in there. Yeah, there was no way he could have put his feet in there, which is why he decided to just return it back to its national habitat. Sorry, Shu, but I can't keep you anymore. You're too big for me to put on. You're so big and my feet is so tiny. I couldn't fit myself into you. Well, I enjoyed it while it last. Then the shoe wanted to follow him. Hey, why are you following me? Go back to where you belong. I can't keep you. You're too big. I'm surprised you're not alive. <laughs> but the shoe was alive. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Wait, really? It was alive? Yes, it was alive. Well, that's crazy. I mean, there's no way I can... Ah! <gasps> trouble very troubled that shoe wouldn't stop following him until he decided to put him back on i'm not wearing you because you're so big <laughs> and so the shoe forced itself in him no leave me alone leave me alone whoa and then what happened then and then and then and then and then you know what I'm gonna go take you to an experiment, sir. Someone who's good at knowing about this stuff. Yoo-hoo! 
Ramasia, uh, hello? Hello, I need some help. I need your help. I got a big shoe here that grew five times bigger. What should I do? What should you do? Hmm, let me see. Hmm, fascinating on its least. But my opinion that you can do with this shoe is... Put it on you. But it's too big. Well, then we're going to have to shrink it. Hmm, how are we going to shrink it? No, not to worry. I come across one of my greatest inventions ever. The shrink ray. The shrink ray, it can shrink all things five times smaller. It can shrink. You know what shrink means? I know what shrink means. I just hope it works. Trust me, it's going to work. I hope. Let me give it a little bit of a shake. It's working. It's shrinking. It's shrinking. That's right. It's shrinking. And Charles, your dad's on the phone. Uh, here I come, baby's dad. Sorry, guys. I got to go see what my dad needs. But I'll be back right to tell the story. All right, Charles, take your time. Wow. The story of the big shoe so far is so interesting. Right, I never wear shoes that big. Look at your shoes right now. They're small. They are small. I hope we don't have to wear big shoes. Don't worry, Bricky. You're still a child. And I'm sorry, guys. It doesn't look like I'm not going to be able to finish the story after all today. Why? What's going on? I got to go home early because of some big, you know, family problems with my dad. It's very important family business, and he needs my help. Oh, well, okay, Charles. Maybe you can tell the rest of the story tomorrow. I promise. The next time I see you guys, I'll tell the rest of the story. I won't forget where I left off. Where did I leave off again? The shrink ray part? The shrink ray. I'll get back to that as soon as possible. Come on. Come on, Blue Feeny. Well, friends, I better get going. Man, see you later, Blue Feeny. See you later, sheep. Bye, Blue Feeny. Oh, no, no. We'll see you guys later. Um, what were you kids doing out here? Charles was telling us a story about the legend of a big shoe. The big shoe? Hmm, never heard that story before. It's a made-up story, Dad. It's a story that Charles made up. He was telling us a story about this shoe that grew five times bigger. Five times bigger? Whoa! Do they make shoes that big? I don't think so. Well, judging for how people grow up, they make shoes big enough for people's feet to fit in. Well... I'm an animal. I don't really wear shoes. Oh, no, not you, sheep. No offense, because, you know, you're an animal, so you know it's different. Oh, it's okay, baby's dad. I get that a lot. But I just hope that we don't ever have to come across big shoes like that, because that would be a scary thing. Don't worry. Shoes can never grow that big. Shoes can't even grow. They make shoes the size that they are. And if they were to grow big, then it will be such a thing. You're right, dad. Let's think of it as that. I'm gonna put my shoes on. Um, never mind. I don't want to. Hey, baby, ready to go sell some fruits and veggies? I got the cart out there. Uh, be right there, sheep. Just gotta put my shoes on. Um, um. Well, what are you waiting for? Slide your feet. I. 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 You what? I. I. You what? I can't. What do you mean you can't? You can't put your shoe on? Here, I'll hold it for you. You put your feet in. No, it's not that. that it's, I'm scared. What do you got to be scared about? After hearing Charles's fate made up story about the shoe, I just refused to. What? You mean to tell me that you're saying Charles' story about the shoe? You're. You're scared it might grow? Yeah! <laughs> Man. What's so funny? Baby, you are so funny. You do realize it was just a story, right? Yes. Okay, then. It's just a story. There's no such thing as a shoe that can grow that big. Shoes can't grow unless you put some power into it. You're right. I'm not going to think about that. Right, come on. We got some fruits and veggies to, ship, to sell. All right. Huh, oh, they didn't grow. Ah, oh, perfect. Hmm? Come on, man! Out here! All right, ready to go sell some fruits and veggies? All ready to sell them. We're making business. We're making business. We're making business. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. All right, I'll sell the apples. Get them out. I'm going to go look for some customers. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm going to 
gonna take my shoes off. Just to be safe. Alright, so far no customers yet. Come on, let's move our cart. Alright. Ow! 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 Ouchie! What's wrong? Why are you saying ow? Ow! Ow! Ouchie! Ugh! 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 Why are you saying that? I'm stepping on some hard rocks. What, what you doing with your shoes off? Girl, girl. Why you take your shoes off? Sam! No, 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 no. Why you take your shoes off? I was scared they was going to grow. Pay me. What did I just tell you? That story was made up by Charles. There's no such thing. Why are you still thinking about it? I'm just worried, sheep. Well, stop worrying. You're going to put too much pressure on yourself. You're right. I'm going to put my shoes back on. Come on, we gotta sell these fruits and veggies. Um, baby. Who said that? It's me, your shoes. Yeah! We're not gonna grow on you. It's okay. I mean, unless you want us to. No, my shoes, they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Oof. I'm gonna take them off right now. No, baby, don't take us off. We're gonna keep your feet nice and big. No, I don't want big feet. Are you scared to have big feet? There's nothing wrong with that. It's gonna be a new dream. No, no, ah, baby. Why are you screaming, girl? What's wrong now? I'm sorry, sheep. I've been thinking about the shoes growing again. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. You know what? I know how to settle this. Come on, we're going to see Charles. What? We're going to tell Charles that you're having problems with his story, and you keep hallucinating your shoes getting big, which they're not. So come on, we're going to go see him. No, sheep, that would be too embarrassing. No, we're going to sort out your problem right now. Ding dong. Who's there? Oh, hi, baby. Hi, sheep. Hi, Charles. Charles, we got something to say. That story you told us yesterday, was it made up or was it true? Come on, guys. It was a made-up story. You mean the one with the big shoes when they grow five times big? Yes. Apparently, I'm still thinking about it, and I'm just thinking about my shoes growing that big. I don't want to see my shoes grow big on my feet. Charles, can you please explain to her what the thing is? I got this, sheep. Just give me some time. Baby, you know that story that I made up yesterday? It was a made-up story, right? Shoes can't really grow that big. I know, Charles. It's just that... Thinking about it in my head, it just it keeps getting to me. Well, you got nothing to worry about. In order for stuff like that to happen in real life, you gotta have some magic. But otherwise, it's just a story. Everything I say in my stories are just made up. You know, you're right, Charles. I don't know why I just came so over dramatic about it. You were kind of traumatized for a little, a little. But I know it's just a story. I need to stop it. It's okay, baby. I was told lots of stories once when I was little thinking it was real life, but my dad told me they were just made-up stories. Just for fun. You're right. Thanks, Charles. You're welcome, baby. See? So how do you feel? I feel good. And, and I feel really cool about wearing my shoes again. You better keep them shoes on, and you better not think about them growing big because they're not. You're right. But I do love my shoes. Hmm, whoa! <gasps> I'm okay! <laughs> I can't get it! Here, let me help you! Hey, come on, Milper Tiny, don't be scared! We're new here! Right, trust us! Teamwork is the dream work! There you go! There's more paper and sheep coming up! On Melper Tiny, Melper Tiny. In a brand new Milo adventure, Mrs. Swan has an egg to protect, but the wind blows and blows it away. Oh no, I was in charge of watching the egg and now I gotta go all the way down there and get in. By the time I get down there, it's gonna blow away again. So it's up to Milo and friends to find that egg and get it back safely to hatch. No, you're not going anywhere. Guys, help. I'm helping Milo. Uh, we got you, Milo! We got you, Milo! We have to get that egg back before it hatches, but what's the point? I'm a bad bird sitter. No, you're not, Mrs. Swan. You're a good bird sitter. We're gonna help you get that egg back. I know I can count on you. Don't miss a new Milo adventure. Egg hatch. 
premieres Tuesday, June 4th at 12. Meow. On Melper. Melper. Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, oh. I'm trying to use good scissors, but these ones aren't working well. Oh, man, it broke. You broke my scissors? Man, man, you twisted my scissors. So I tried twist? No, not really necessary. Twist Gnome is the perfect looking of good scissors. It cuts smoothly, straightly, and cuttable. Now all my cutting problems are washed away. Press Gnome scissors, each sold separately. Dun -dun 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 Whee! Here I come! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Awesome! Let's see here. Two plus two is um um. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Four! You got it! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, um! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah! Then, mmm! Mmm! Dun 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 dun! Mmm! Your Melper Tiny friends are always ready to play with you! Yeah! Woo. You can go to MelperTiny.com to play fun games with your favorite characters and also watch full episodes online for free! Let's go, go, go to the snack, snack, snack! Ah! <sighs> ah! There! We're staying all night! Then you might just need a bigger house or a bigger room! Join your first adventure today at MelperTiny.com. Melper Tiny. Hmm. I'm never going to stop watching Melper Tiny. Do your legs ever get sore? <laughs> ah, my legs! My legs! Yes, my legs get sore! Ah! Well, introducing Leg Hand. It's new ointment. Don't you put some on your legs and let it heal for like one hour? It'll work all good and your leg will feel all better. <laughs> Hey, my leg doesn't hurt no more. You know what? I'm gonna use some more of this leg hand stuff. Let me use some more. Leg hand, legs are made for walking. Vroom! Hey, try and guess what I'm doing. Vroom, vroom! Am I driving a car? Or am I going to sleep? Vroom, vroom! Right, I'm driving a car. You're watching Melper Tiny. Whoa, Melper Tiny! Do not know uh oh, Shreehouse! We're going to Charles' house. We're finally going over Charles' house. I know, I'm so excited. Sheep and I are going over Charles' house because we called him up for a play date. And so far, it's coming out so good because we're on our way there. We're making business. We're making business. We're making business. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Come on, right this way. Charles. Uh, Charles? Uh, doesn't he live here? He does, but I don't see him anywhere. Hey, guys, I'm over here. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's waving. Hey. Hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. Hey, there he is. Hey. I want to show you guys something. You do? Is this something special? It's more than special. It's amazing. You're not going to believe your own two eyes. Come on, this way. We better go find out what it is. So, no, 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 no. All right, Charles, where is it? Look at this, guys. Some. You see what this is? You got a tree house? Man, he sure does. His dad built it yesterday. Yesterday? Yup. Dad made it yesterday, and it was so amazing. You see how big it is? Charles, I didn't know you had a treehouse. The last time we came over here, we never saw you have a treehouse. Well, I just got it built two days ago. Two days ago? How do you even know when they get started? Well, my dad thought it was a good idea, and I said, yes, it will give me something for me and Blue Feeny to play in. You guys want to come inside it? Sure. Let's go observe it, see if it's, you know, cozy enough. Great, follow me. There's a ladder. <laughs> Climb up the ladder. I love ladders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladders are amazing. They could break a little, but not this one. This one is stay together. You guys see the inside of my clubhouse? Ooh! Charles, this treehouse is amazing. Yeah, like I don't even know where to go look at first. Like, you know, the window over there? There's a window over there? There's a window. Oh, 
there are windows all over it. Yup, to make sure that we get good air. Isn't that right, Blue Feeny? You said it, Charles, buddy. You guys want to see the secret room? You got a secret room you put stuff in? Yup, that makes the treehouse even more special. This is the room where we hide out in. No one never knows about this secret hideout, but you two. Are you guys down there? We're down there, come on down. Wow! Man! What? Ah! Welcome to the secret room. I didn't know the secret room had a what? Slide? Yup, my idea. That's right, Charles's idea. Putting in a slide, thought was his goodest idea yet. Charles, your treehouse is amazing. So, um, when are you planning on being in it? All day today with you guys, really? Yeah, we don't have to leave this treehouse. It's perfectly steadied. All right then, this could be a, our new secret place. We can come and make up all of our plans. Yup, I just gave y'all an idea to start coming over to my house, huh? You know what? For now on, we need somewhere to hide out in. We know you got a treehouse, so if something dangerous happens, we'll come here to be safe. Oh, don't worry. As long as the treehouse is still up, we don't have to worry about nothing happening to it. I just want to make sure it stays a little bit sturdy and stable. You know what I mean? You know, like, like that nail right there. Bluefini hammer. I got you, Charles. Here you go. Thanks. Oh. Want to make sure all the nails are down. Wait, there's another one. Is that another one I see over there? It's so tiny, but I'm still going to nail it. All right. I think I got all the nails. Wait, I see another one. Charles, I feel like your treehouse doesn't look perfect enough because judging from how you're using that hammer to hammer down so many nails, don't worry, sheep. My treehouse is still perfect for what it is. What do you think? It's perfect. Wait, it doesn't look perfect enough. This window should be up louder enough. <laughs> ah, now that's more like it. Okay. I thought your window looked at fine where it was. No, I want it wide open. And why isn't the sunroof open? You have a sunroof? That's right, where we can sh see the sun. Ah, Charles, the sun, it's getting in our eyes. It is, but that's how I like it. Oh, it's too bright in here. Can you close it? Ah, Sorry, you guys, maybe the sunroof should stay closed. Yeah, we don't want that sun in our eyes. I don't want to be blind. Sorry about that, but I still think it's a perfect treehouse. It it's not perfect enough. I want the ladder over on this side now. There we go. No, it's blocking the window. I want to be able to go on the stairs, not from the window. I'm going to move it over here. It doesn't look good over there either. I'm putting it back over here. I want it to go sideways. No, front ways. Something tells me that Charles doesn't like his treehouse. He doesn't like it at all because he keeps moving stuff in different places. Yeah, and just when you thought he actually loved it in a perfect form position. Nope, I'm putting it back over here. I'm changing my mind. What do you guys think? Does it look better over here? Charles, the ladder looks fun. No, 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 no. I know what you're going to say, baby. You rather for it to be on the side of the treehouse like this. No, I was going to say. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what you were going to say. I should just put it back in the same area where it was to begin with. There you go. It's literally on the same area you put it before. I know. And I want to make sure it stays there. Charles, are you sure your treehouse is fine for what it is? Because judging from how you keep moving stuff around, you're not liking it. Oh, don't worry, sheep. I'm really done now. The only thing I had to do was the hammers, the nails, the windows, and the ladder. Okay, but are you sure you're not just going to keep moving stuff around until your treehouse is perfectly good for what it is? Because you're really putting up your own move and your pressure. Trust me, baby. I, oh, I want the sunroof open. I need some air. Sh ah! Charles, what did we say about the sunroof? Ah, turn it off. You're right. I'll, I'll leave it closed. I just wanted to be sure you guys were okay with it open. <sighs> Something doesn't seem right. Let me guess. The ladder. No, it's not the ladder this time. The sunroof. 
no, not the sunroof. Oh, thank goodness you're not going to do the sunroof. Oh, I know. The nails. There's more nails up. Nope. Nope, I was wrong. There's nothing wrong. Okay, then. Ah, there's something wrong. Man, what now, man? The secret room. I knew something wasn't right. Oh, oh man, just when I thought my treehouse was perfect. You know what? I don't think it's safe to go inside this treehouse. Yeah, maybe we should just get out of it because Charles is literally making sure everything is steady. There's nothing wrong with the treehouse, guys. It's just Charles. You know, for him getting his first treehouse built, he wants to make sure it stays, you know, perfect and alive. But it is perfect and alive, Blue Feeny. There's no reason for him to make sure. You know what? I'm going to make sure it's steady. Uh-huh. Okay, more hammer. More to hammer down all these nails. I just need my hammer real quick. Charles, I know what it needs. Pictures, pictures. There we go, Charles. Okay, no, 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 no. I need more pictures. No, more glue, more hammers. Charles, Charles. Yeah, guys. What are you doing to your treehouse? Are you trying to ruin it, or are you just trying to just make it so we can't be inside of it? I think you're trying to kick us out. Come on, guys. Let's just get out of the treehouse. Charles is really being so considered that his treehouse is not perfect enough, which it is. Mm. Guys, hold on. You guys think the treehouse is perfect for what it is? Charles, the treehouse is perfect. It's you that's the problem. Yeah, you're really over yourself for this treehouse, knowing it's fine just what it is. We're looking at it right now and everything is staying still. It's staying still. And everything is nailed down. You've been really hammering down lots of nails. And it's fine. You're going to break your treehouse if you keep pressuring yourself on it. <sighs> You're right, guys. The treehouse was fine for what it is. I don't know why I'm so worried about it. You know, it's my first treehouse. I just want to make sure it stays okay. See, that's the reason. It's okay, Charles. We'll make sure your treehouse stays okay. Really, guys? Yeah. Now that we know you have a tree house, we're going to help you take care of it every day when we come see your house. Yep. Once in a while, we come over your house, we're going to check on your tree house. Besides, that's the only place where we're going to be at most of your time at your house, your tree house. We can even have a slumber party in there. Thanks, you guys. I knew with your help, we can be able to take care of my tree house. We love you and your treehouse, Charles. Man, you guys are the bestest things ever to me. Come on. Let's really enjoy my treehouse the normal way. There you go, buddy. There you go, Charles. All right, what should we do first? Well, you guys want to tell some stories? That sounds like a fun idea. I love stories. Come on, let's tell a story. We're going to tell the story about how I first got my treehouse idea. Really? Now, that sounds so entertaining. Plus, we can learn some fun facts about your treehouse and what you were doing before you even got it made. I'm stating it? The evolution? Ooh! Well, then, let's hear the evolution. Wink! Wink! So, it all began when I needed a secret place to come out in. My dad suggested... No, 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 no. Do, no, no. 